it, I've I've worked with enough, you know, amazing uh, performers that you know I I used to be, you know, it's hard not to be intimidated. Yeah. Um, how did you? I mean, how did you feel about it? like? Well, I, I just if, if you come prepared, yeah. then you just like stay focused. Don't get, try not to get sidetracked yeah. by. Um, but I think it's easy to sort of be like, ah, you know, you put additional pressure on yourself yeah. because of who you're working with. Right. Um, but you didn't see, I mean, but at the end, no, at the end of the day, look, it's a job. You yeah. Know, we got to, we have to do this the best as we can. You know, I mean, it's, it doesn't matter what kind of job it is. You do the best we can because it's, if it's your last job. That is what we might be remembered for. Right. Um, whether it's, it doesn't matter. No one captured that, that uh, banter back and forth. Yeah. Nobody not, captured that. No, the director was there for it. He remembers. Um, but fuck remembering. Like, I want I want that shit on. I want that to be yeah. my Magnus Opus yeah. moment in my career. Uh, like, she, yeah. Oh, my God. You know, and who knows? Who knows if, you see, the, the thing is, once you pull a camera out sometimes, too, that might change. Yeah, the that dynamic. changes the dynamic. And this is before, sure. uh, I don't, 2012, no? I don't know. If, was there social media back then? Mm, barely. Maybe it's Facebook. My space. My space. Yeah, MySpace. Yeah. MySpace. Oh, Facebook. Did you say Facebook? <laughs> um, Dude, it's crazy. Yeah, but it's... Uh, yeah, it's look, that's the thing. That's the thing. I, I've been working with a coach recently who's really made really? a difference, you know. The, 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 mus- the job How has that did... shaped you, especially being that you're not a, what? Um, an actor? Are we from recording that? or not? No. A bit. Oh, we are recording. We are recording. <laughs> was... Listen, man, I'm an engineer. No, good. If always, you're not recording, I'll, like, I'll, always keep the I'm going to sit here and talk about how it oh, wasn't recorded. Oh, no, with no. You. Uh, oh, oh, no. Always, <laughs> listen, always roll camera. Yeah. Um, it's amazing because since I never studied acting, um, she's an incredibly talented actress herself, mm. but she, uh, she's a dear friend of mine. Um, but she has a perspective. She just adds like my performance in Mosquito Coast was the way it was because of her. She changed the way my oh, character looked at people. Yeah. Um, and it, the, I'd never, that's really I, interesting. I saw a clip on that. That was, that I was... never, well, I never can never dawned on me. How the way, if you're looking at at, at someone else straight on, mm-hmm. what that says about your character, mm. you know, because if, if you're si- if you're observing them from the side, it's one thing, but if you're threatening them, mm. um, and then you start talking like Michael K. It's not really like Michael K. But it's about nasally. It's <laughs> nasal. I've got the nasality of Michael. <laughs> um, my watch is is expressing its parking experience with me. Uh-huh. Um, but but she, her name is Paola, and she's she just gives me a perspective. She, she adds layers and dimensions that I never would have thought of. Because I, I always have had sort of this... Is she imp- here in Mexico City? Mexico City. Oh, nice. She's, I've, I've always had this inferiority complex because I never studied mm-hmm. that sort of been like <laughs> always hanging over me that I'm not good enough... <laughs> because I've never studied. Right, right. But I try to use my time on sets <coughs> to, to. Yeah. You know, I've worked with Brian Cox, uh, Robin wow. Williams, Eugenio Derbez is an incredible uh, Mexican comedian yeah. who's, who, I don't know if you saw Radical, but that's mm. his film. And I did a, a series with him that's coming out soon. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's sort of you, the more work you do, you start to. You know, it's funny that you talk, you speak about uh, Brian Cox and it, you know, look, I can, I can tie a really weird and strange correlation. I've never met him. I don't even, I don't even want to lead with that. But these, these shoes are from a brand called Sabas, mm-hmm. which you would love. And I think I was wearing a pair of Sabas when I met you. Okay. And because I recognize your boots. I'm like, oh, yeah, you're wearing yeah, great yeah. boots. Ah, yeah, so, I so, right, right, right. And so, um, this brand, Brian Cox had blown up a lot of his um, social media for like a good month. He was wearing solace. Oh, nice. So he had like this, uh, this color. Yeah. You've probably seen it. I mean, it's been every, it's been nice. everywhere. So they've been shouting him out because he's been wearing a lot of their, like, I think it was like a suede jack, suede shirt jacket. Okay. Boots. Nice. Also from Savas. But All it was right. this color. Cool. It was this color by, by, um, yeah, by Savas. So. Yeah. He's, Brian's great. He's, yeah. And what's funny is that his, is poem- he, is he a Brit? He's Scottish. Scottish. Yeah, yeah, no, no. His mm-hmm. and what is funny is his 
His politics are the opposite of Logan Roy. He is oh, interesting. Very much to the left. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I did a film in, in Iceland with him. Really? Yeah. It oh, was nice. Great. It was it was a film called The Good Heart with Brian and Paul Dano. Interesting. Uh, it, yeah, it was great. We spent three weeks together, and it was nice. Nice. It was I, it's, I mean, I, gosh, I can only imagine all the different experiences you've had and all the different people you met. That's um, that's what I love most about being an actor is the is the the places, mm -hmm. but mostly the people because I stay in touch with with uh, you become a family. You know, yeah. if you work for an extended period of time, sure. Um, and to create something together is very special. Um, yeah. No, I mean it's it's kind of interesting. I'm I'm kind of figuring out my life right now, and although I'm working, I'm actively working, and I'm you know I'm very blessed and fortunate. I think there's a bigger goal that I'm starting to figure out, and I'm not a goal setting person. Mm. Right. So I feel like as I was talking to my wife, it started unfolding. And as I was talking to her, I was like, you know, I really feel like I want to be one of the best hosts in the world. I want to be able to speak in various capacities with different types of people mm -hmm. to be able to speak right at right where they are. You know, if it's an actor, I want to speak in the acting space. I want to be interested. I want to be interesting. I want to be able to talk about anything. I want to be able to speak to someone up here or down here or mm -hmm. in the middle or wherever you are. And um, and really kind of have that candor and that demeanor that meets each one of those moments. Because I think when you're a host, I'm starting to see a lot of hosting out there. And I'm like, ooh, no, that's not it. You can do it better. I, I could do it better. And I'm just like, sure, I want to be yeah, interesting yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. So so when you say that, that makes me, that reminds me of this new venture that I feel like I want to embark on, which is meeting as many interesting people as possible mm. and having great conversations mm -hmm. and kind of peeling back the layers from your traditional surface A side. I want to mm -hmm. get to the B side. I love that. <laughs> love that because I always <laughs> always look for the, the, the B sides. Yeah. Because that's always like... That's the Everybody else can listen to the A sides, but the right. B sides. Yes. Why were they B sides? Yes. Who decided that they right. would be B sides? These are people that had shitty taste in music. Yeah. Either that or like, <laughs> no, 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 we want to save. Yeah. You know, we want to save these. Like, that's I always true. like the B sides. And, and what I always loved was side B of, you know, because you had the. Well, you had the um, you had the stuff that didn't make the albums, right? Right, right. And then, but so you had sort of like, and then in CDs, the deluxe edition, it would all come out, mm -hmm. like the CD number two, or if it was a record, though. So what was the what was the side B of the B? See, oh, okay. We're gonna go really deep. Right, right, right. To right. B, the to deep the B. cuts. Then you go deep yeah, cuts. That would be a C side. I right, think, yeah. right, right. No, yeah. but dude, that's awesome, man. Yeah. But man, this is. This is crazy that you've been able to be here. You just so happen to be here for this couple of weeks because you had to be with your daughter. Yeah. But, you know, and seeing you on social media stuff, I'm like, well, it would behoove me to just, you know, shake a tree and see, you know, if you're able to come through. And this is this is a the very tree memorable. tree bore fruit. This is, this, is my, this is my Robin Williams moment that you had. So... Yeah, it's a but, pleasure. But man. we actually have it on tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's the it, the camera's not on though. It is on. <laughs> that, that, that's always the moment where people are like, oh, oh, oh. But just for everyone to know, there was magic. Yeah, take our word for it. Really, like you've never seen before. Exactly, and I got it right here from my world, from my living room. Yes, and a very comfy couch. Yellow, you ain't stealing this. Yeah. <laughs>